How's it going everybody? It's Warren and welcome back to Superhero Central. Sorry I haven't posted here in a while, but I promise I'll be posting a lot more frequently. So if you're new to this channel of mine, be sure to subscribe so you can get a ton of superhero nerdy content. Today we're going to be talking about something that's very interesting in the superhero world. We're going to be talking about heroes that have turned into villains. Some of you may be shocked to find out that some of your favorite heroes have done some pretty horrendous things. So let's get started. Coming in at number five is Hal Jordan, a.k.a. the Green Lantern. The complete destruction of Hal's home, the town of Coast City by the villain Mongol, sends Hal into madness. Hal snaps and he goes on a killing spree, destroying most of the Green Lantern Corps, including killing his own friend, Kilowog. He would even kill his old mentor, Sinestro, by snapping his neck. When the Guardians try to take his ring away from him and stop him, he snaps even more, and he kills all of the Guardians except for Ganthet. He then takes on the name Parallax and becomes a villain of the DC Universe. He would then attempt to rewrite history in order to stop the destruction of his hometown, Coast City, by using the combined power of the rings from the Green Lanterns in which he killed. This would prove to be unsuccessful, but for the next decade, Hal Jordan as Parallax would continue to terrorize the DC Universe as its villain. But eventually, he would go on to sacrifice himself to save the Earth. Coming in at number 4 is Thor. Some may be surprised to find out that Thor once ruled Earth and he was responsible for thousands of deaths of innocent people. Although it wasn't his intentions, it did happen. In this story, Thor is the ruler of Asgard and Loki is his right hand man. Thor moved Asgard over New York City, but the government didn't exactly like that. And a war raged between New York City and Asgard. Even the Avengers and Tony Stark fought against Thor. The result was thousands and thousands of people killed, both humans and Asgardians. Eventually, Thor would go on to win, and he would turn New York into Asgard. The Avengers would continue to fight against Thor as he ruled the world, and Iron Man almost beat him with his Iron Man technology. However, Thor would go on to be victorious, and he would rule for decades before the world eventually began to crumble. And that's when Thor decided to go back in time to undo everything that happened. But still, in his reign, thousands and thousands of people died because of him. And that brings us to number three, Reed Richards, aka Mr. Fantastic. That's right, Mr. Fantastic was indeed a villain. In fact, he's one of the very few heroes turned villains who actually remains a villain. In a story in the comics, Reed Richards goes through a very hard time. There's destruction from Magneto, the Fantastic Four end up disassembling, and Sue Storm ends up rejecting his marriage proposal. And then, not being able to cope with everything in a twisted turn of events, he fakes his own death and he hires aliens to blow up his home, with his family still inside. He also had them attack other buildings as well, including the home of Peter Parker. But then, Sue Storm, aka the Invisible Woman, and Nova discover that it's actually Reed behind all of these attacks, and a fight breaks out. This results in Reed getting sucked into a portal and getting trapped inside the negative zone. The Avengers then go pay him a visit inside of the negative zone and they almost kill him, destroying most of his headquarters and army. But of course, he would end up getting out of the negative zone and then he would assume the alias The Maker. He then puts together a group called the Children of Tomorrow and plots to take over the world. And that brings us to number two, and that would be The Hulk. It may not come as that big of a surprise that when the Hulk gets extremely angry, he doesn't really care a lot about what's going on. On. But as it turns out, if you banish the Hulk from Earth and then kill his family, he becomes pretty pissed. Now, there are actually plenty of evil versions of the Hulk, including Maestro Hulk and the one time that the Hulk betrayed the Avengers to fight with King the Conqueror. But one of his most villainous times was during the World War Hulk story. It starts off with the Illuminati banning the Hulk from Earth and they send him to the planet Sakaar. There he falls in love and his wife becomes pregnant, but the spaceship that he used exploded, killing his wife and his unborn child. Child. He believes this to be an attack from the Illuminati, and now he is much more powerful thanks to the radiation from Sakaar, and he returns to Earth to get his vengeance. When he gets to Earth, he defeats nearly everybody. He defeats Iron Man, Ghost Rider, the Gamma Corps, the Avengers, the Mighty Avengers, Doc Samson, and the Fantastic Four, including Black Panther and Storm. He then imprisons all of the heroes, and he puts obedient discs in them that prevents them from using their powers. He then defeats the entire U.S. Army, including 
Thaddeus Thunderbolt Ross, and then he even goes on to defeat Doctor Strange. He goes on to make all of the heroes fight each other to the death, but it stopped when he finds out that the Illuminati weren't actually responsible for the explosion. After a series of events, Tony Stark would eventually use a weaponized satellite that would fire on the Hulk, leaving him unconscious and returning him to Bruce Banner form. And from there, S.H.I.E.L.D. would arrest him. And coming in at number one is Superman. Superman doesn't really have the no-kill mentality that Batman does, and there are plenty of times where Batman went completely crazy and brutally killed people. In the Injustice Gods Among Us story, the Joker fools Superman into killing his wife, Lois Lane, and his unborn child. In this story, Superman turns very evil and he kills many different people, starting with the Joker. Superman would get his revenge on the Joker by punching his fist directly through his chest obviously killing him, and at this point in time, he decides to stop trying to save the world and rules over it. But of course, Batman and pretty much every other hero decides to fight against him. During this story, he strangles Psylocke, almost killing him if it wasn't for Ganthet stepping in to save him. Green Arrow decides to take Batman's side and decides to go up against Superman alone, believing that he won't actually kill him. He was wrong. Superman beats Green Arrow to death with his bare hands. He then, in order to save Wonder Woman, torches Martian Manhunter, incinerating him until nothing but his bones are left. And to top it all off, in a fight with Batman, he gets the upper hand on Bruce Wayne and shatters his spine. And this is why Superman takes the number one spot of hero turned villain. So let me know what you think about this list, and let me know which one of these shocked you the most. Let me know what you think in the comments down below, and for more superhero content, Content, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any videos. This is Warren and thanks for joining me here at Superhero Central.